So you're looking to complete the challenge Captain Smushed. Unlocking this gives you the nuke that everyone has been clamoring about, but the challenge requires you to kill the final boss using a supply beacon, which normally doesn't even do damage. So I'm going to be showing you how I did it within like 40 minutes. That's a long time, but trust me, it could be longer. All right, so what I did to begin with is I just slapped on the Artifact of Command. It's easier that way for me. Some people do Artifact of Sacrifice too, which means that items will spawn from enemies instead of chests, and chests no longer exist. But I find you can sometimes get unlucky with that, and it takes a long time to get just a couple of items, so I'd rather just be able to pick the chest myself. Also, because I'm captain, I can get the chest unlocked with my hacking beacon, so it's even faster to get the items that I want. Once you actually get in the game, it doesn't really matter too much what you get at the beginning. Basically, you're just trying to get the Mythrix because that stage is really hard now. So you're going to want to have to survive here the entire time. I recommend playing on Drizzle. Everything scales less. Everything has less health. You don't die as often. It's really great. I don't think you would enjoy this challenge at all if you were doing this on Monsoon. And then right before you got to Mythrix, you just got destroyed by like a perfect Chimera. So stick with Drizzle for the challenge and then go back to Monsoon or whatever difficulty you play once you unlock the actual ability. Okay, so like I was saying, just get whatever items you want. Try to daggers, they're nice. Death marks always great. Armor piercing rounds does extra damage to Mythrix. It doesn't matter. Just get you a build that can get you to Mythrix. I have been told that Renald's ban can mess up the kill. This happens with Bandit, where it's really hard to kill Mythrix if you have Renald's ban, because if it procs and kills him instead of your actual special, then, you know, it doesn't count. But what you'll see is that it doesn't really matter for what we're going to be going for, but just in case you do it in a different way and you're not sure what happened, I think that Renald's can proc on his beacon. I'm not sure. That's what chat told me. Not 100%, but I didn't worry about it because I did it a different way. All right, so once you get to the moon, there are lunar pods you're going to want to open up. I recommend killing things on the map and doing all of the pillars before you actually go ahead and do this because what we're going to be doing is grabbing shape glass. We're just going to be stacking as much shape glass as humanly possible. This will reduce the Mythrix's health in phase 4, so you will be able to almost guaranteed one-shot Mythrix. Even with your supply beacon, you don't have to aim anything else, just your supply beacon, depending on how much glass you get, remember that. I had four when I fought Mythrix, and this was just about enough, but I also ended up dying on my way to actually fighting Mythrix. Even on Drizzle, I just got surprised by one of the kamikazes. So if you do actually do this, maybe pick up a Dio's just in case. It doesn't matter if Mythrix steals the Dio and then revives, because technically it still counts as you killing him. Also, as chat pointed out, if you pick up a Dio's, you can actually get two resupplies. That's a mechanic on the captain where if you die, you get your beacons back. So if you mess up and actually miss both of your beacons, fear not. As long as you have a Dio's, just die, respawn, and aim them again. You might want to pick up a Chrono Bobble, and again, depending on how much glass you get, this might not be a play that you're allowed to make, but a Chrono Bobble will slow him down while he's in his fourth phase, so you won't have to try as hard to aim the abilities. It would feel real bad to miss both of yours and not be able to get the challenge after spending like 40 minutes doing this. The best time to actually throw out your beacon is when he's doing his ground slam because, you know, he's stationary while he does the ground slam. So that'll be the best window, the best period of opportunity that you will have to actually use it on him. And boom, once you actually use it on him and hit the ability, he should be dead. It's really not that hard, and here you go. Enjoy the nuke, or my bad, the OGM 72 Diablo Strike. I'll play you some clips of me using it. It's pretty cool. I really like it. I enjoy it. Is it going to replace the other utility skill? Probably not, at least practically, but still, pretty cool. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like it and, you know, subscribe it. And if any of your friends have a question on how to do this, you know, share this with them. It's pretty simple. Thanks for watching. All right. Nuke all beetles. So 40 second cooldown. So this should at 20 seconds be when this lands. Okay, this was actually made to exterminate beetle queens. I feel kind of bad right now. And she's dead. <laughs> this is literally made to... They, they can't move. They literally can't move out of it. <laughs> Purity. Holy shit. You're speaking my language right now. 8 billion purities. Oh.
Oh seven beetle queen was nice knowing you. I mean, I'm probably going to die as well, but I nuked your ass out of existence again. <laughs> captain still doesn't have M2 feels bad. Yeah, but think about it. How broken would captain be if he did? Pretty broken, pretty broken, right? Owie. Sag. You know what's pretty great about the tactical nuke? You can literally just just put it on the boss and then walk away. That's crazy. I don't have to worry about shit. I didn't even look at the boss. I just went, yeah, it looks about right. And then I went away. Oh, God. That just feels so good. Oh, my God. And they dropped a red item for me. Radioactive. I'm radioactive. Radioactive. Hard light afterburner. Craig as <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Where are we gonna drop this biatch? Alright, we'll drop her hurt. We'll drop her hurt. And then we'll drop her hurt. There we go. Now I can't time it though. Now it's a lot harder to time. I'm gonna play in them. I'm gonna see how dangerous we get. Oh shit. Okay, that one's about to explode. 